If this works, this will be a game changer. Are y'all okay for a good old fashioned car chat? It fits perfectly. I thought I was gonna flop harder than this. I'm proud, I really am. How are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. It's a lovely day. It's like 80 degrees and sunny and I'm just enjoying it. Sitting out on the porch with little Maxi boy. Hello. You love the porch? <laughs> and um, not gonna lie, the last few days I had some pretty bad health days. Just whenever I have like autoimmune flares, I call them flary days. And I was down for the count the last few days. And so yesterday I canceled all my plans. I was supposed to actually go into Houston for something and I just rested and I'm feeling so much better today. Just had therapy. I actually met up with my mom for lunch and I'm like, okay, feeling good. Let's start the vlog. So I'm excited to be feeling better. I'm excited to have y'all here. I got in a few packages. One of them is more organizing things. When will she stop? Never. Actually, I actually kind of want to go see it. Can we go open it? Let's go open it. The next organizing project I want to take on is a couple of these drawers. This is like my most accessible drawer. And so I have random little other things like straws, chip clips, steak knives, but I want to keep my knives here. And so it's not large enough to get a second one of these. So, oh, I also have other drawers. Like I'm calling this my junk drawer. It's mostly just like random things right now. <laughs> Some scissors, lighters, I, I don't even know. So I ended up finding this, which we should open. Okay, let's take a look. Really nothing makes me happier than a well-organized drawer. Hoping this is the bottom of them because or else they look really shallow. Woo! Those are perfect. Okay, good, I'm glad they're not that shallow. Straw size, oh, I'm excited. Can we do this really quick? Can we just do this really quick? I can't wait. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if this one's too big. Yep, thought so. All right. Got this. That all worked out really well. Like, it fits perfectly. Ah, ooh, love when that happens. I got one other very exciting package and it is some meals from Tobala because I'm getting to work with them on today's video and I have something, <sighs> I'm a fangirl. I'm just gonna warn you right now, I'm gonna fangirl. Um, Tovala is a brand that I have loved forever. This is gonna sound like a joke and I promise it's not a joke. When I was moving, back home to Texas, when I was basically starting over, rebuying everything. The first thing I bought for my new apartment was a Tovala Smart Oven, which you can see back there, before I even bought a bed or a mattress. First, I don't know if you noticed, I've upgraded. They had a new one come out in February, and the new one has an air fryer. What Tovala is, let me just like backtrack for a second. It's a smart oven. There's an app on it, but it does so many things. It bakes, it broils, it toasts, it reheats. I don't use my oven. I almost never use my microwave. I use this for everything because it cooks everything perfectly. So I'm gonna show you an example here. On my app, let's say like the thing I make the most in my Tovala is salmon. I just look up salmon and I click cook and it will start cooking the salmon for me perfectly. Also, something very cool is you can scan the barcodes on groceries and it knows so many things pre-programmed, like some things from Trader Joe's, some things for Annie's, they add things every day. You just scan the barcode on the oven and it cooks it for you. It's so 
handy. And now that it has an air fryer, it literally does everything I could ever need. But the deal has to do with the meals, which is why I'm gonna show you these. You can order these from them. They're so healthy, fresh, easy, yummy, and you <laughs> literally comes with all the ingredients and a barcode that you scan. Surprise, surprise. Here's like the little like sauces and things needed for this tandoori spiced chicken breast. But the deal that I'm gonna have a link for is normally this guy runs 249 but if you order meals six times over six months, you can get the oven for $99. Jordy has one now. Um, my parents have one. Like I have had so many people buy this because I don't shut up about it. And um, now's the time to get it with this deal. Thank you to Tovala for partnering with me. Thank you for my beautiful new oven. I love the color. It has a couple different colors now. I love how sleek this like gray, white stone color is. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, so let's taste one of their meals together. Here we go. Let's give a little taste test. Although I'm just a few hours away from a FaceTime date night with Jordy and we were gonna eat together, but <laughs> I wanna try this now. Let's give this a taste test. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. The, like yogurt curry sauce was so good. There's times of the day where like a huge, what do you call them, flock, swarm of ducks. I know it's a flock of geese, flocks of birds, right? Um, come through at the same time. They're skimming the water with their wings. And so they're all splashing up the water at the same time, like literally like 300 ducks. And it's happening right now. I would turn you around, but they're gonna be gone by the time I, I get to that. But it's just like mesmerizing. My productivity has just plummeted living here because I just, there's so much to watch out the windows, like TVs on all day but I think it's been really good for my mental health. Uh, most of this vlog is going to be tomorrow since I got a late start today. And I have some like, some conclusions. It's been a lot of moving content, maybe not a lot of like deep reflective content, which I personally think it's great to switch it up every once in a while because if I'm too reflective all the time, people are like, girl, we get it. Thanks again to Tovala. I love you. My link will be in the description for you to go to that deal. Can I share this with y'all? Uh, one of the work things I just did, work, I mean, not really, is I made and edited this TikTok because there's this trend, there's this sound trending, yo bub, that I really like. So I pulled footage from like the last year and some change and it made me just like, it made me pretty sentimental and pretty emotional to see like all the changes that have happened in the last 15 months or whatever. Um, okay, here it is. So if I'm honest, I think I'm beginning to question how much I want this Overloaded cereal stressor, I'm sitting nauseous Panic on a loop in my head, I'm chronically cautious How can I get off this? To keep it simple, I think I've been willingly following every impulse Picture in the future, then tossing it out the window Suffocate the fire, I started right when it kindles Passionate but fickle We've learned a lot in the last year. We still have a lot to learn, but it's cool to look back and be like, whoa, whoa, that was a lot of growth. That was a lot of growth. Okay, thanks for um, amusing me and letting me share that. I, I have a little bit more work to do, but just like, look. Look at how beautiful it is outside today. It's summer, I think. I think summer is here. I don't think it's going away. It's literally 87 every day for the foreseeable future and sunny. Are you okay, sir? Excuse me? Okay. Hi, good morning. It's clearly the next day. Um, I'm getting my butt to the apartment gym just to do a little weighted workout. I'm trying to, trying to increase like weighted activities in my life um, to build some muscle and also hopefully help protect my joints a little bit. But I get intimidated. <laughs> and so I wait until the work day has started so that a lot of the like finance bros that live in my building are hopefully not in the gym and that it's more quiet and that I can like figure out how the machines work and stuff without feeling like I'm gonna be corrected just in real life, but the days I do it, I feel really proud of myself for doing it. And I have figured out the home projects that I wanna to try to tackle today. One of them is the gallery wall that I wanna to try to do in the powder bath. I'm calling it a powder bath 
even though it is a full bath. I had a lot of people, and it's very smart, comment like, hey, be cautious hanging art in a bathroom because of the humidity. But I don't think that that shower is ever, ever going to be used because I use this one and I live alone. And I think honestly, if like Kaylee or whoever stays over here too, they'll probably just use this one also. So I think the art should be safe in there. Actually, let me talk you through this before I go to the gym because these are my thoughts. So most of the art I have is from my travels and I normally go to antique malls. So they are all pretty antique-y. I also have little Mikkel, I call her. And um, I need a couple frames too. Like this was Hawaii. This was, I think, Maryland. So I need to get some frames for things like this, but clearly they're all super vintage-y, antique-y, and I picture like a very funky gallery wall. So I would like to balance these things with like very modern art. I think that it would just be a really cool juxtaposition, but I'm not really in the market to like buy <laughs> like expensive modern art. So I thought it could be cool to try to find like a print shop or something similar. I feel like I've seen some cool funky little things on South Congress and just get a couple funky little things to complete this vision for now. And then maybe, you know, as time goes on, if I take a trip and I find like something that's really funky and modern and cool, I can replace them over time. But just so I can get these hung and um, not feel like I have to rush into any of those big decisions. So I think my goal today is figure out what size frames I need and then also see if we can find a couple funky little things and try to complete that all in one day. So. I don't know, could be fun to get that all sorted away. Um, but before I figure all that out, I'm gonna go work out. Okay, I will be back in just a bit. Back from a 20 little minute workout, <laughs> the smallest ever. But um, no one was in the gym, which was really nice. And I started making myself breakfast and then I was like, actually this would be fun to show the vlog because all of my toast is frozen. I forgot to pull it out of the freezer. So I was gonna do avocado on sweet potato and I was gonna air fry some sweet potatoes. I think I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. Super simple, because then we could top it with like a fun sauce after. And this is the air fry basket. So I'm just gonna toss these in here. And then tell my phone, air fried sweet potatoes. And then I'm gonna take Max on a little walk, start getting things organized for the day and breakfast will be ready. Some avocado, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I wonder if cottage cheese would be weird on sweet potato. Trying to incorporate more like cottage cheese and yogurt and you know, protein. Anyways, okay, that's my update. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing my little tiny little baby tape measure because if we find a print that way I can make sure I buy the right size frame. I just measured the prints that I have that don't have frames and they're both 11 by 14, which for some reason that doesn't sound like a familiar size to me. And there's actually one other project maybe we could start figuring out today. I wanna make like a grab and go closet. Let me explain what I mean by that. I'd like to make this like a grab and go station. Um, and I mostly only have like tote bags and backpacks in here besides my grocery cart and like Max's leash. And previously I hung backpacks on hangers in my last apartment, but the hangers, like if there's anything in my backpack, I've broke quite a few hangers. So the backpacks have to be empty for that to work. So I was thinking, what if I found some hooks? I did like one hook, two hook, three hook, four hook, and could like literally hang my bags on the wall in here, close it away because I'm not gonna be hanging coats because I live alone. My closet is big enough for four people. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking that might be worth a shot slash I also wonder if I could just get really heavy duty like command strip hooks. Um, the wall has a little bit of a texture to it, so I don't know if that will hold up over time, but I've seen ones that hold like 40 pounds and I'd love not to put more holes in the walls if possible. So maybe if we have to get um, frames somewhere cheap like Target, we can see if they also have something like that because that would be such a handy thing to have and just to have tucked away by the front door to grab my backpack or my tote when I leave. I like the sound of it. As a joke, I was telling Jordy last night that today I wanted to go find some funky prints for this gallery wall. And he's like, has learned slap bass. And so he was like, oh, funky, like like started making the noises with his mouth. And I was like, actually, I'm gonna steal one of your slap bass sounds and do a funky transition to go get some funky prints. So here we go.
This says tequila made me do it. I just found shade. So um, I think I'm just gonna stick with these two for now and we'll see if Target has a filler. But like I said, like my hopes is trips in the future, I'll find something really meaningful to replace these. But these are great because they support local artists and they're like 20 bucks. So I got this print of Mount Bunnell. It's one of my favorite places here in Austin. It's just super scenic. I have some solo footage there. It's like me sitting on a cliffside looking over the water. So I thought that was special. And then I thought this was cool. They have the same print and like a lot of different color combos. I feel like it might be like kind of a stamp situation. So I picked this color combo with like purple and yellow and they're all signed by the artist, which I thought was really cool. So, you know, great little fillers. I kind of want to find something small to like mix up sizes a bit, but we'll see what Target has um, and go buy some frames. Oops, let's try and put this back in the bag. Okay. All right, okay. Yes. <laughs> Are y'all okay for a good old fashioned car chat before we go to Target? Because I have been doing a lot of reflecting lately. Surprise, surprise. Might as well rename car chats to reflective ramblings because that is just exactly what it is. But I feel like I've actually come to some really helpful conclusions, at least for me. Maybe sharing them will be helpful for someone else. But I know like November, December, beginning of January, I opened up about how much I was struggling with just intense anxiety. And it was like chest crushing for nine plus hours a day, every day. And it was something I've never experienced before. And it just was like debilitating. It was awful. And I've had a few really good weeks. And I know that there's so many factors that can change that. Like, you know what I'm eating and how I'm sleeping and so many things, but there's been a few different little mental shifts. I don't know if they're correlated, but I do know that these mental shifts have helped me to just maintain a greater feeling of peace. And honestly, for me, peace kind of coincides with confidence, which has been really refreshing and awesome. And I wrote a few of them down. Some of these might feel kind of controversial. Maybe they won't make sense to everybody, but maybe they'll make sense to someone. And if it makes sense to one person, awesome. The first thing that I've noticed is I have become way less impressed with myself in terms of like what I'm doing and accomplishing. And I was just thinking this even with social media, like I've been playing around with TikTok and I've had some TikToks pop off recently and get some of them over 3 million views. And I feel like I would have previously felt like, oh my gosh, I'm doing something cool and good and awesome. And it would have felt like an adrenaline rush. And I just have kind of noticed myself be like, huh. Oh, cool. And I think that that has helped bring me a sense of calm and peace. And instead I have found myself becoming more impressed with the small little things I'm doing every single day. That makes me more of who I want to become. So even my therapist told me to like write down times that I choose the harder path. If it's the healthier thing, like having a hard conversation with someone or, um, you know, voicing my actual wants or needs or concerns, or even just like the other day when I was feeling really bad, canceling my plans, even though I was worried about disappointing people, um, so that I could rest things like that. I have found myself becoming more impressed with myself. The, the, the next thing is going to seem a little bit more controversial. And I know I did a whole vlog about like entering my unapologetic era. Like I stand by that. I, st I think that that was a really big turning point for me. I think that the mindset of being more apologetic is incredibly anxiety inducing for me. Like for example, the ones I used in that vlog is yes, I am sensitive. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Or yes, I can be materialistic at times for sure. I like nice things and not trying to like defend or change those aspects of me has brought me so much peace. It really has. And then like criticisms don't hit the same. They don't hit the same when you feel like you need to like justify or apologize for things that aren't actually hurtful or harmful to anybody around you. You know what I mean? Next, kind of similarly, I think for me, recognizing that everything has the power that I give it. Every single day is going to have positives and negatives within the day. And I could choose to focus on those negatives and give that so much power, or I can choose to not. That's been a game changer for me. And I know it's so simple. I know that that's probably you've heard a version of that a million times, but like you truly do have the power. You have the choice to decide what you want to focus on and how much power you want to give hard, negative and convenient things versus like the beauties of each day. Like things have gone wrong today for me. 
but it's sunny and it's beautiful outside. And I'm like choosing to focus on like the little things like that. I know that's cliche. The very last thing that I've started doing that is really just help like my brain feel like it starts the day in a healthier frame is I wake up every day. This sounds so cheesy. I wake up every day and I basically just tell myself, sometimes I'll even write it out. Today is as easy as I choose for it to be. The days that I wake up and I'm like, I have a lot to do. I'm stressed about it. It is hard and I am anxious and it doesn't go well. But the days that I have the exact same level of commitment or work or whatever, when I wake up and I say, today's as easy as I choose for it to be. For some reason, it just goes better. And I think it's just that like the positioning of my heart is more trusting, more relaxed. It's not so stressed and anxious and things just kind of flow easier and that has been really helpful for me too. I just have felt a lot better and these are things that have kind of like just bubbled to the surface through talking to loved ones and through therapy and through just always doing the Mikel thing and assessing myself and reflecting and trying to improve always. All that being said, shall I go to Target? I got distracted. This always happens. Okay, but let me show you. First, I was literally looking for these online, this type of lampshade. I can't decide if this base is too small for this lampshade. It's a mixer match, but I decided that the one on my dresser just needs like height. It looks a little silly and short. And so I wanted one of these. I don't even know what you call it. I might reconsider the base, but then, guys, look what Studio McGee just came out with. It's 30 bucks. Isn't it so cute? I kind of want to see if I can hang it above my sink. It's stone, so I can't obviously hang into it, but I'm gonna try these little guys to see if I can use this to hang it above my sink. We'll give it a shot. And for the gallery wall, I want it to feel as eclectic as possible. So I'm kind of thinking about mixing like maybe this wood, maybe one of these like darker tone woods and maybe even like a brass because I want it to feel super just like eclectic mix and match found if that makes sense. Okay I tried to get all basically different sizes but like for example this frame is huge but it has a big mat so they all still accommodate 11 by 14 which everything apparently is I guess it's the most common size and like these are the same wood but they're different sizes. This is the whole frame is 11 by 14 and I have one that's like already matted so that will go in there and then this is 11 by 14 after the mat so the ones that are not matted will go in there so I'm hoping it's like enough diversity to feel very found this is my plan will I be so sad when there's no more house projects left to do I think I will won't that be so cute do I want it up high yeah If this works, this will be a game changer. Oh, oh, uh oh. This is already feeling like a no. Okay, so those don't work. <laughs> I don't know if they were intended to do that, but I have these huge hooks that I, I basically got them to rehang this. I haven't showed you all this, I don't think. My little like pot lid organizer inside of this cabinet. And they're, they're pretty massive, so I don't think it's gonna be my, my end solution, but I just, I'm gonna do it for now so that we can see what this looks like hanging here. And then I'll find something smaller. If y'all have any recommendations, any links, drop them in the comments. I'd be very thankful for that. A little bit higher, because the game is lower. Better than no solution. <laughs> I feel good about that. And now this guy, I can do a little vignette or something with him. Like with my fruit bowl. Kind of balance the art a little bit more. Sure. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty intimidated by the gallery wall project. So I'm gonna do this next to procrastinate that one. Um, I'm putting all of the adhesives on the back. I got these, these are the heaviest duty ones they have. They hold 10 pounds. Figure that's more than enough for backpacks and bags. And I think they're ready to go inside the closet, which is also why I don't mind the way they look because no one's gonna really see them. And repeat four times.
comes the scary part. I feel like I genuinely am bad at gallery walls. Like, I just am bad at it. But, oh, I forgot. We have one more funky one. That's right. Here are all the photos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight photos. We have a large space to work with. Pretty large. And I'm wondering if I like try some layouts on the ground just to kind of get an idea of like what looks good next to each other. And I think, I think my best success happens when I just go for it. And if I don't measure, I know that's counterintuitive and actually probably just incorrect, but I think otherwise I'll get analysis paralysis, but I would like to see what looks good next to each other with the different frames and everything like that. So I'll lay them out on the ground. flop harder than this all in all I don't hate it I the the only things I don't love is that these three frames are like a little too similar in size I wish one was like longer but that's okay um, switch out this print I actually really love this one even more than I uh, first thought um, you know I still kind of picture this one print as temporary and just see how it changes as I travel and what I find but for now I'm not mad I thought I was gonna like less. And it's feeling more complete in here. I still need to like decorate the countertops in here super minimally because obviously this wall is really busy. Eventually I wanna see if I can switch out this hardware for this guy because I love him. Also, this was hung like weirdly low. This is a normal size hand towel. And doesn't that feel low? So if I could somehow manage to hang this a little higher, I feel like I would like that a lot but that's something for another day. There's still more projects to be had. <laughs> that gives me, you know, I can't do everything or I'll just, like I said, I'll get sad if, if everything's done. <laughs> but one last fun thing before I hop on that is, you know that French brand that I love, Cezanne? Well, they heard I love them and they're really sweet and they gifted me two things because I think that this is their French collection that just came out and so we should try them on first. Oh my gosh, I really hope these fit. These trousers are you kidding i saw a picture of them online and i assumed that they were going to be like a lenity material but they're almost they're almost like a wool which i haven't seen anything like this before i'm praying that these fit i love these i'll show you in the mirror i think that they fit well enough for me to get by with them the thing with pleated pants on me i'll show you pleated pants sometimes i feel like hit me a little funny because my hips pull the pleats but these have a lot of extra room in the hips but the pleats are still kind of pulling a bit um there's a little space i got a 36 i have no idea what size that translates to in american sizes but i'm wondering if i have those little amazon buttons if i could pull a button over it a little bit further and if that they would work but i've been on the hunt for trousers for a while i'm actually going to do an unsponsored um, like keep versus return Abercrombie haul soon. And I ordered several trousers just to see how they fit, but I really like the feel of trousers. So would love thoughts on these. Um, I feel like the length will be perfect with heels. Here's me standing with heels. But the other thing I'm excited for, look at this dress. Look at this, the print of this is everything I've dreamed about. I really, really, really hope this one works. Oh, it's midi length. It has a little tie in the front. <gasps> okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, this one, no questions about it. It's perfect. This is gonna be so nice for summer because it's like really light and breezy and it's just so classic. This is for sure keep. I don't even need, I don't need no opinions on this one. All right, all right. Wow, it's so cute. I love it. I'll link both these, but it was a very sweet little gift to, to find in the mail. By the way, this dress is a 34, which I think is a US 2. 
And I honestly do think I maybe could have gone down one. It was hard to tell how much room was in the hips of this. So I think I think I could have sized just down. I think that there's enough room in the hips. I don't want to take this off. We did really well. I think all things considered, working with what we got, you know, getting a couple little things. I'm proud. I really am. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, jump on work, and then have dinner with friends tonight. And I really, really enjoyed spending the last couple of days with you all. So thank you for being here. And oh my gosh, okay. The Tovala deal, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I have texted the link to people in my real life being like, now's the time. Go, go, go. Get it, get it. Love the new air fryer feature. Thank you to Tovala for partnering with me on this video. I'll have that link down below. That link also helps to support my channel. So if you're thinking about it, just save that link for future use. It means a lot. I love you. Okay, I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video super duper soon. Very soon. So let's take all night, all night.